my name is Wayne Barlow. I have been an author and illustrator for the last uh, 30 some odd years and for maybe the last 20 years I've uh, immersed myself in research and an interest in hell. I had a uh, fairly extensive background in biology and pretty much layer that into all of the creative creature design and character design that I've been called upon to do. When I first heard that Dante was going to be translated into a game, I was uh, both amazed, intrigued, and thought it was a brilliant idea. What I was striving for uh, with the creature and character design here was drawing in large part on uh, notions of the surreal, but also uh, because I'm such a lover of history, pulling in a lot of those kind of um, vague historical references. Gigantism is something that I like playing around with, and in my hell uh, images, it, it was as amped up as I could possibly make it. In terms of the psychology of human souls as they are in, imposed on that world, um, what could be better than to minimize each of them by suggesting that a world is filled with gigantic um, and, and kind of foreboding uh, sights. When I uh, do character design, I like doing small details uh, to show how things work. Seeing what Cleopatra's tongue might actually work like in a game uh, was kind of an appealing uh, sidebar. When I started to tinker with the angels, I wanted them to look light yet powerful, sweeping curves and those sorts of lines were working for me uh, when it came to the angels in direct contrast to the more convoluted shapes and forms that were in hell. Karin was a, a challenge. Again, being uh, so fond of history, I was trying very hard to harken back to an ancient uh, look for him, either Greek or to some degree um, Middle Eastern on the right hand figure. The, uh, this, this might actually be my uh, favorite of the uh, approaches towards uh, Charon uh, of the lot. The, the shapes are working nicely, and I think that it's a, a rather more inventive uh, approach than some of my earlier ones. I like the idea of something looking absolutely impossible to have come out of that body. To having her open up and just be some over-the-top, ridiculous, you know, uh, organism, uh, it was really appealing to me. And you look at that and you say, well, psh, I have no idea how that could happen. But in the world of film and game, it can. Gee, that's a toss-up. Which do I like working on more, lust or gluttony? I'd probably lean towards gluttony because the uh, design considerations were a lot more abstract. For example, the uh, gluttony level was just amazing and, and a, a beautiful rendition of um, my sketches come to life. This was an earlier look for Cerberus. This was a, a fun exploration for me. It's a massive character now, and uh, the notion of it disgorging its uh, various mouths, I think this may really have been um, the first attempt that kind of evolved into what it finally wound up being. It occurred to me with the, the unbaptized babies that, you know, it seemed a perfect uh, solution to take a placenta and wrap it around and just sort of turn it into an organic fig leaf, if you will. Yes, Midas, Midas is endlessly coveting other people's things, so he needs a lot of eyes. And uh, in this case, I was riffing on both uh, medieval and renaissance and ancient uh, forms in terms of his crown and his collar and uh, beard and all. This is an early take on a Minos, and uh, one of the prerequisites uh, was the, uh, the tail being an integral part of uh, this character and how it wrapped around the central column, uh, I think, a specific number of times to indicate uh, levels that people were going to be consigned to. When I was thinking about the Queen, I, uh, I, I, if, a, if a good idea popped into my head, then that would be where I would start. If not, um, I would start with the female form and then just start letting my pencil play around with it a little bit. Lines suggest themselves uh, and turn into things. Um, it's a very organic approach for me. Putting a new spin on Satan, that's, a, that's always tough. Certain conventions needed to be adhered to, but the, the trick is to uh, sort of visually phrase them in a way that uh, is different. I uh, am hopeful that they will feel that um, they're not seeing something like what they've seen before. This was um, a, a terrific project to work on, and the people that I worked with couldn't have been better to work with.